got all kind of love for you. Cause that's him. You know, y'all call each other dog. What's up, dog? Right? What's a dog? Four legged animal. Right? Spell a dog backwards. Yeah. It's what you have gotten away from. That's why y'all dog. That's why you said dog. The joke is on y'all. The joke is on y'all. Is that clear? Is that clear? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Well, Can't take him. So what's the problem? You know why? He has you so busy trying 
concentrating on him, and you got you concentrating on him, you concentrating on him, you concentrating on him. A, a, a revolving circle, nothing changes It's a cycle, so it keeps going. It becomes black on black, black on black. It, it never changes. So look what he said. All the slaves asked some guy together, he came up with an idea. He said, Greek, gentlemen, I greet you here on the banks of the James River in the year of our Lord 1712. First, I shall thank you, the gentleman of the colony of Virginia, for bringing me here. I am here to help you solve some of your problems with slaves. Your invitation to reach me on my modest plantation in the West Indies, where I have exper experimented. You know what experiment is. Right? All right. With some of the newest and still the oldest methods for control of slaves. He wrote this in a letter. He was writing this. And we was the slaves. So he figured out how to control all these slaves on the plantation. So if he can't control them, then what does that mean for him? If you can't control some slaves on the plantation, what does that mean? All right, there you go. That's all you got to do. But you caught him in the in the ninth ward, the seventh ward, third ward, up time. They all plantations. You don't own none of the land. <laughs> you gotta get control of the land. Get control of the land, you can build the I believe you have my own institutions. They don't teach you your history at all. Zero. That's why you're walking around in the darkness, because you don't know yourself. Who's a, what's the oldest man on this planet? The oldest type of human being on this planet. What does he look like? See, you have no idea, no kind of concept at all. You believe God? A what? Two Chinese dudes, 200 years old. I just read you a letter that's 300 years old. So that ain't going to wash. The oldest human beings on the planet look just like everybody in this room. We the original people on this planet. All this stuff about mathematics and science and alphabets and, and all these different We've been there, done that. We've done all these different things. We've been birth record. They're trying to figure out how old and one day they find a skeleton in Africa and say, oh, it's millions old. Then somebody else will find when it's two millions old, then they just keep going back and back and back. So they don't know how old we are. You don't know your history. So if I don't teach you your history, if I don't teach you right, what makes you think I'm going to treat you right? And I got you on the plantation. You a fool. I done turned you into my fool all day, 24 hours a day. So you get out there, what do you do? Act the fool. It's that simple. You get knowledge of yourself, you got to learn to love yourself. I'm wearing black. I wear black every day. That's it. It's clear. Now, here's one of his kind of things. I have outlined the number of differences among the slaves, and I take these differences and make them bitter. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. Fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. So you see somebody with a suit, I'm telling you, y'all, like, you put your head down, because that's fear. They break fear in us. But it's one thing that they never taught us to fear. What, what, what is that? What's the one thing they never taught us to fear? Huh? Each other, see? You got it. Because all you're doing is putting your brain computer together. All it is is coming 86 billion miles per second is what your thoughts traveling like this. And it comes right to you. That's the one thing they never taught us was to fear each other. That's why you don't fear him. But I guarantee you, if I get somebody, a white boy here with a suit on and tie, and he say he FBI, CIA, I guarantee you fear him. He said jump, you move. You just ask how high. That's the, that's the one thing in it that, that they that they did teach us to fear each other, to fear them. So you create distrust, but this distrust me. You don't trust your fellow man. You have no trust at all. So if you want to go into some kind of business venture with you and him, you must I don't trust him. That's what they did. They taught you this kind of stuff. And envy, what is envy? Got new fair shoes, everybody in envy you new fair shoes. After that, somebody's skin to get the shoes. That's all it is. They teach you. And he is a, a human being. He, he taught this whole lesson. This is what he done. So now, check this out. Here's, here's one of the concepts. Don't forget, you must pitch the old black male versus the young black male, and the young black male against the old black male. 
you must use the dark skin slave versus the light skin slave, and the light skin slave versus the dark skin slave. Now we got this concept about, oh, dark skin people are, you know, big lips and wide nose, so you rib each other. So that kills your self-esteem. You have low self-esteem because you've been taught to have no full lips and white noses up, and you have dark skin. So Michael Jackson does what? Bleaches his skin for some kind of fine, some kind of chemical to do it. See? That's what it is. It's that simple. You got to understand the concepts of what they're doing. Everything is a concept. They practice it. While you sleep, they plot they plan. Hell, I'm up too. Y'all sleeping, they up studying me. I'm up studying them four in the morning, three, four in the morning. I'm studying too. Because I ain't going to be walking up in here and don't know what time it is. I ain't joining no group, no organization, don't know what it's about. I ain't going to do that. I got to study. You got to get on. But you got to begin with self, though. You got to begin with self. I'm telling you. As bad as you claim you want to be, believe me, if you ain't got no self, it's worthless. All you're going to be doing is just menacing your own neighborhood. They put you on the block. You ever heard of red line? This is what they do. They get a map. So, okay, well, this is why all the black people live that right here. All we got to do is to draw, draw, uh, get a red marker and draw a red line on it. Right? It's called red line. That's how they write it. The banks don't give you no money you want a loan. They come up with some kind of excuse not to give you no loan. You can't open no business. You ain't got no business in your neighborhood, in your community, nothing. They pump in the guns and the drugs. You don't own no planes, no ships. You don't own no factories to turn to powder cocaine and crack cocaine. And then when you sell crack cocaine, the sentence is higher for powder cocaine if you get caught with crack cocaine. You know why? Because white folk start 99% of powder cocaine and black people deal with 85 something percent of the crack cocaine. So they, at the same time, they get you on a drug, they on a drug, they got an escape route when they get caught with the drug. So well, look, this, you get caught with five grams of this, you're going to get X amount of years. If you get caught with five grams of that, you get probation. Because it's stacked up against you. We 12% of the population, we over 50% of the prison population. Does it sound right? It don't make no sense. So guess what? Y'all are next in line. You're next in line. You're next in line. Because it's a steady breathing process that you recap. You recap. They recap on the phone. Well, guess what? They read the niggas on the phone. And y'all it. Until you decide that you want to change. It's your choice. It's your choice. You have the choice to do it. Straight up. You have a choice to do it. But you got to want to love yourself first. Like you have been for all kinds of different things in your neighborhood, in your community. And I know in the community, you see all these different things, and you don't see you know, anything like positive, so I understand. Children don't come on the plane and you start cussing, start you know, doing all these things. No, no, you pick that up from the adults. So I say the adults are as much as far as you are. So you got to be able to set some examples and say, okay, well, listen, this is what we're going to do, okay? Instead of you playing a video game all day long, guess what? Go to school and learn all this computer stuff and make your own video game. All y'all in here can get together and learn this computer stuff, create your own video game, and all y'all sign your name down on that paper, copyright, market, trademark, and everything, and come up with a name, whatever you want to be, Flyboys Incorporated, whatever you want to be, corporation, and you own it, video machines and all these different things, and that, the things that end up in a store, $500, that's your corporation. You get to own it. You want to do something, all of us ain't going to be able to be a rap star, not a football player. You know what the eyes are sometimes get late to the NFL, and all these different ones like coming to play football? That happens every once in a while. So it ain't going to happen. You got to focus on something that's got to get you somewhere. What, 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 is, what, what are you inspired by? What, what's the one thing you can think of you can see yourself doing? That's a new beginning right there. We all have gifts. I got so many hours in the lost town. Kind of. We all have them. You can't spend every day fooling around. There are people that's taking time. Why, why, you think, why you think all the big folk are here today? Why you think I came here? For a reason. Now you let it go in one end, go out the other. And when you walk out the door, you go right back to, you know, Willa Lynch. Willa, Willa Lynch. It's still in effect right here today. It's still in effect. It's 
still in effect every day, all day. That's what it's about. Controlling black people so we can get black people to do black on black crime, practice all these different things, and then you learn all these different things, and then guess what you end up at? Lockdown. I don't call it jail. I call it concentration camps. And go to plantation because slavery is still legal. All you got to do is this. If I own a corporation, right, like AT&T, McDonald's, boom, boom, right? To keep me from paying my employees high wages, if I want to save some money, I cut jobs, or I just move my corporation. Here's the trick. I put my corporation behind a big wall. Because you know why? Behind a big wall, I don't take nothing. I get my stuff made for damn near free. All I need is people to make me. So what do I do? I create a situation. I create a situation because they don't have no sense. They can't out there be. They don't. They don't know what time it is, so therefore you don't know the game. So what I do? Create some situations. So I can get as many people behind the wall to work for my corporation. This is what they're doing. They're getting so many of us behind the wall because we're processing checks, making license plates, everything. Clothing, all types of different things. And I get to save money. I'm a billionaire now. So I ain't got to worry about paying nobody outside the wall because I got all these fools up here. <laughs> making my issue, making my stuff. Because you understand what time it is. Out there is nothing but that. That's all it is. You get caught up in the life cycle, that's all it is. It's a constant flow. And guess who benefit from this country? White people rule this thing. White people want all this. They love this. They don't have a problem. They don't have, look, as long as black on black crime stay in the hood, it's all good. When it spills out, oh, we got a problem then. It's a problem. You see? And you say, well, why do black people kill each other? Why do you do all this different thing? Nobody ever addressed the real serious issues. Right here. This is why. Ain't nobody ever told you all about Will Lynch, right? They told you maybe about Frankie Douglas or something like that or whatever. You know, I grow in the park and I'm the king. You know, he killed George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. He said he freed the slaves. That, no, that wasn't what that was about. It was about economics. It was about maintaining the structure. He said, look, I'll free you if I could keep the union together and keep this money flowing where I can stand between me and my southern partner. I would leave all y'all in chains. If I could do it that way, where they had to flip a little script and, and free and free and free the slaves, come and let us free so that way we can keep the union together. They didn't teach you that side about, George, about, about, about Abraham Lincoln. You see? It's that serious. That's a lot of things that. What's up, brother? What's your name? Say it again? You're right. But that's basically what it is. You got to be able to want to live. If you don't want to live, then you're going to give them what they want. You're going to give them what they want. They don't even have to show up. You already programmed for self destruction. And then they leave. I said, they ain't, ain't, no, ain't no right way has got to be around, but you're going to do it yourself. It's that simple. You're going to do it yourself. If you want to be something, raise your hand. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to figure out what it is. It's, it's, it, 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 it's right here. And so you got to understand, you can't fear doing it. You don't have, don't have no fear. The only thing you should fear is not knowing. You should fear, you should fear not knowing what's behind that door. You should want to know what's behind that door. But if you don't know what's behind that door, then that's going to be it. You understand what I'm saying? You got to want to do that, man. It's serious. You got to want to do it. You got to want to read some kind of. You got to want to study and learn. You just can't be here just ripping and running around. And you know, like I say, you know, you emulate the things that you see that 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 grown folks. So you know what I try to do? You see, like like the like the gloves and crimps in LA. You know, one has a red scarf, one has a blue scarf, right? I said, okay, well look, here's my scarf right here. Red, black, and green. Well, have you, have you heard of Marcus Garvey before raising hand? Never heard of Marcus Garvey. Heard of Marcus Garvey? Did you know he gave us these colors? Oh, well, good. Explain to them what these colors are. Do you know? Oh, 
Okay, when the red is what? The black is for the what? I was the green for. I said that earlier. What grows green, man? Come on. It's springtime. Land. You know what I'm saying? The land. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. You gotta have some red, black, and green. This is what we about. This brings us together right here. He gave us our color. And this is what we stand on. We ain't standing on that flag because that flag ain't, ain't no black in that flag. That flag got all the colors in it that represent them and the brutality that's been practicing on us. White for the white folk, the red is for the blood that they've been shedding on us and the blue and all that stuff for the sky and the stars that we were seeing when the eye was getting beat. That's basically what it is. It's that serious. Now you're going to want to make a change, that's it. Now here's what, like I said, I said earlier, I said you can roll with me or you can roll with them. Now who is them? Your enemy. And your enemy ain't, ain't, ain't ever treated you too right there. In none of the relationships that you had, even, even before, like, thousands of years ago, a couple of thousand years ago, what's called Europe, they had to take over your body. And the people that were living in Europe were black people from all over the planet. We built all these different civilizations all over the world. Wherever they went, they found somebody that was dark skin just like them. And see, you can't get caught up with the, oh, the nappy hair and the, and the you know, big lip and the white. No, we got black people in Australia with naturally blind hair. You don't have to dye it. Yeah, the black people, dark skin like you, with naturally blind hair. Yeah, all of this. We, we all these different shades and, and, and things of that nature. But because you, know, you, you haven't been taught your proper history, if I, if I haven't treated you right, I ain't gonna teach you right. Why would I, why would I, why would I teach you right if I haven't treated you right? I want you to stay on the plantation. I ain't trying to free you at all. You know what you gotta do? You gotta free yourself. Don't ever expect your enemy say, okay, well, y'all free. He gonna free y'all. Oh, that's, 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 that's a joke. That's bull crap. Hey, you gotta free yourself. But you gotta begin here. There's nothing wrong with revolution. I said revolution a lot of times. And people like, you know, they bag up like, oh, he's gonna kill all white people. But what did George Washington them do? What did they do in, in, in 1774, 1775? What did they decide they was going to do in 1776? Right? Get free. And they got free. You have the same right. You have the same right, but it's a distraction. So now this 21st century space age culture is what I like to call it. iPod, videos, DVD, and all these different things. These, these, even like the video games, man. You internalize the video game. That's showing you the video game with Snoop Dogg and all these cats. We're going to talk about them in a minute. Snoop Dogg and all these cats in the video shooting each other. You know, I mean, mowing each other down in these videos. And y'all internalizing it. You get excited when you see it. Ask them why they never put a white face in the video and show some brothers dressed like a black man shooting them. Ask them, go to them and tell them to make a, a video and you want Black Panthers up there, and you want some Ku Klux Klansmen as the as, as victims shooting them. So they ain't gonna show you these concepts. They're gonna show you a black face on the opposite end of the barrel because that's what they want. And you, you run around on the program. The joke is on you. Ain't gonna be no change until you make change. If I have a $20 bill and I owe this brother $5, the 20 is not gonna change itself. I gotta make change and give him his $5. It's that simple. It's your choice. Now, the practice, right? Now, your conditions in your neighborhoods are looking the way they're looking, right? The so-called ghetto, right? Now, they rich. You ever seen one of them come back and fill up the potholes in the streets? But you, you know, when you see them, you like, you know, you ooh and ah, you, you, you rush up on you, it's like, get an all rapper, touch and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You is what make them go. You pay that, you pay that money, you pay that car money. They go buy them eighty thousand dollar cars and all that stuff, and then they might buy a little plan car from Cadillac dealership, and then take it over to this dude over here in the West Coast, and he and he kicks it up, he, he fixes it up. You know, not a car fight, worth a hundred thousand dollars. You made that happen. You made that happen. So I say this simple. Now look, this is what we gonna do. We gonna have a deal. Okay, we gonna get all our people. We gonna buy your rent in exchange for a car in exchange for a million percent, in exchange for a library with some books about us, about ancient Egypt, the 